and I'm gonna show you how to separate yolk from the white stuff, you know? So all you're gonna need is empty bottle and you squeeze it. Now check, check it closer. Squeeze it and suck it in like that. Ah, too fast. Okay, check it out. Perfectly yolk egg without any white stuff. Let's try another one. Just squeeze it. First thing you're gonna do is unwrap your gum and you can eat it later, the gum. And we're gonna need aluminum foil, this one right here. You can use it three times, pretty much you can cut it in three pieces. Like you got one, two and three. You got here three pieces. So save this two for later. You know, you wanna have it in a stock because you might gonna have to make fire many times. So then you got one of these pieces, you wanna fold it in half, like this. And then grab your scissors and cut it from this side to the top. And you see how I leave it a little bit? Not too little, but, so it looks like that. And then you wanna grab by this side and Unravel it like that. This is whenever you're gonna be touching these two sides, it's gonna be really hot. So I recommend you to use gloves. So then you wanna grab one side and put it on one side. It's not. And then the other side and grab, grab it with the other finger. Let's see what happens. See how it's smoking and you be got fire. And how to pick a lot. All you're gonna need is just or aluminum can. First thing we're gonna do is cut an aluminum can. So then we got this small piece like that. And then we're gonna cut a V-shape style piece. I'm gonna show you how. If you start cutting it like that, and then go around it. Smooth out all the edges. So we don't want any bumps on there. So we ended up with this piece right here. And then usually if you face the lock, it's usually on your le left side. It's on my right right here. Then we're gonna need to grab this pick we just made and put it next to the bar right here and kinda smoosh it in like that. Smoosh it inside like that. Get it inside all the way. And then try to turn it by these two pieces. Sometimes it's not so easy. All right, looks like we got it too. You see how we turned it around? And now, now just pull it up. All right, first we're gonna put empty bottle in this container. You can see the bottle in this container. And then we're gonna grab our baby oil and take it out, put it in a glass a little bit. Let's see, because it's gonna take up a lot of space. As you can see, you can still see, see the bottle, right? So now we're gonna put baby oil inside the bottle, see what happens. Check this out, the bottle just disappears. You can see the bottle at all, you can move it around. You can see on the empty bottom. I would like you to tell me in comments below how does that happen scientifically. As you can see, you can see the bottle. Now you don't. You know, there is a lot of talking on the internet that you can diffuse a soda can or a beer can. If it's shaking off, you just stop on it and it's uh, diffusing and you open it right away after you tap it and it's not gonna form at all or like a li very little. So today I'm gonna do experiment and see if it's uh, fake or not. Let's check it out. So I'm gonna shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Couple of times dropped it, shake it up, and all you gotta do, hold it by the top, do a bunch of spinning like that. 
you can do like that you can do tap on it whatever on the side and let's see if we're gonna open it now well that didn't work let's start it again all right let's start this again shake it off a couple times the upper you know when you buy it from vending machine it's it's all shaking off you know when you buy it from the box tap it a couple times on the side wait a second okay let's open it that's a fail again I know you guys what do you think is it all fake stuff let's try this again this time I'm gonna use two cans shake them up so they will be for me when you open it will explode so and I'm gonna tap on one and see which one will explode less all right let's do it shake it up drop a couple times you know when you buy it from vending machine all right I think it's pretty pretty good so I'm gonna tap on one of them and we see the comparison because I'm gonna open two of them this one just standing over there all right that should be enough and all right you be the judge does it really help you whenever you tap on a can all right after opening all the soda cans you be the judge does it really help all right so we're gonna get our aluminum foil not too much this is would be enough and just rip it off that piece I right can and then we need to fold this uh, aluminum foil in uh, this shape so it's pretty easy fold it in half then another half then another half you see it's almost the same size you can fold a little bit more but you don't have to I'm gonna do it all right so that's the same size right here and then next step all we gotta do is roll it up roll it up like that so yeah and then we got this shape of thing that will will good it it's okay that this one a little bit thicker it's all good then we're gonna get our flashlight unscrew it and then drop aluminum foil first drop it in there you see how it is in there and then drop the butter in there and then screw the flashlight back on as you can see it works just with one butter so yeah as you can see it works I got white piece of paper and it's a square and I got another piece of paper square but it's cut off like this in pieces and if I'm gonna lay it on top of the white square it's gonna fit it's gonna fit already in right you see two similar squares no takes so as you can see there is no way to fit any other space any other squares but what if we gonna rotate this piece like this and then same thing we're gonna rotate this piece right here I did a little bit too many spins got confused for a second I'm gonna rotate this pin right here piece right here and the last piece I'm gonna rotate over here and check it out the white it still fits the white square doesn't stick out anywhere but the magic is we got this one more small square how is that possible let's edit it one more time check it out and it all fits without any square 
without any spaces sticking out in any sizes. How is that possible, guys?